back again with Let's Play Mass Effect 3 with me, One Exploits, and you, whoever you may be. And last time uh, we recruited our Prothean friend, our companion from the From Ashes DLC. So that is. I'm pretty sure we're done with the From Ashes DLC. Um, I forgot to redeem my codes, which I actually got an email for on the 9th. So I can go get my A12 Raider shotgun, M55 Argus assault rifle, and N7 Warfare gear, and see if it's actually better than the weapons and armor I'm using. I'm using the Reckoner armor at the minute, which is awesome. Huh? You know, in the old days, they didn't have automatic cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. <coughs> yep. So what we have to do is go check out... I think we'll go to the captain's cabin first. See what uh, this armor is like. If I can change my armor here, I'm pretty sure I can. You can change it down in the... Uh, what do you call it? The shuttle bay also. Check it out here. So we've got Reckoner Knight. N7 Defender. Where's my N7? Oh my god. N7 Warfare gear? Where the hell is that? This is weird. I don't seem to have it. Even though I did redeem it. Go down to the shuttle bay. Maybe I have to buy it, I don't know. There's a shop here. Citrus supplies, medigel on upgrades. Nope, nothing there. Casa fabrications. These are all upgrades, okay. Scale model of the Alliance Kodiak shuttle. Spectra requisitions, nope. Okay. Armor locker. Do not understand this. <sighs> weapon upgrades. Where do I get my weapon locker? Weapon bench. So I've got new weapons, but I don't have my armor for some reason. And seven warfare gear. Where the hell's that? So I should have the. M55 Argos. Wait, what's this? N7 Valkyrie. That's not listed here, I don't understand. Ah, there's the Argus, okay. M55 Argus 1. What is this uh, Valkyrie? Plasma rifle's better. Um, I've actually played ahead a bit and tried this out. Uh, I don't really like it. I think it's the constant stream, and you only get one. It's not. It's not. It's like a one bullet, but it's not one bullet. It's like a stream. So it's like a plasma cartridge. So you can have what, like one of one plasma cartridge. Lasts about twenty seconds. That's the only drawback. The damage is actually quite low. Argus is high in weight, the damage is decent, it's m better than the one we have at the minute. M8 Avenger, got a lot of assault rifles, I only had like two. We'll keep the particle rifle for now. Um, got the new shotgun, N7 Crusader, what's this? The good thing is you can actually take off your mods and put them on to another weapon like this. A12 Raider, yep that's the one. Is it better? It's less weight, better fire rate, more damage, far less accuracy. Let's see. Yeah, I think we'll stick with this then. For now, so that was, uh, not <laughs> I've got like nothing out of this pre-order content then. What a shame. Maybe the N7 Warfare gear give me more 
assault rifles like this Valkyrie? Guess so. Alright. That'll do. I'll go as is. Hey, there's a dog it's sleeping. What's you doing, you lazy dog? <laughs> sleeping on the job. Right, so. Uh, we've talked to everyone on this ship. We've spent like three videos talking to everybody on this ship. So. Let's go back up to the information center and get out of here. I think I'm just gonna explore. Unread messages at my terminal. Okay. Review the messages. New shotgun. Do I have to read this? Hey Commander, ever tried it? A12 Raider? It's a shotgun. Hell of a kick. Can punch a hole through almost anything. Some contacts I made on Omega a few months back are shipping a crate out to the Normandy. My treat, James. So it's James. James Vega. ED. The Argus rifle received more positive ratings than any other assault rifle in polls of law enforcement agencies. I have reviewed the statistical data collected by these agencies and believe their recommendations to be sound. Shipment of Argus rifles have been delivered to the weapons locker should you wish to test them for yourself. And a Valkyrie assault rifle. N7 Valkyrie assault rifle is issued to every new Alliance recruit and is standard issue amongst ground forces. Alliance telemetry shows the weapon displays excellent efficiency in combat. Since the Normandy is now an Alliance vessel, I was able to requisition a number of these rifles for the use amongst the crew. You'll find the weapon, them in the weapons locker. Your N7 Defender armor? From Stephen Hackett. Shepard, never had the chance to get you some new N7 equipment back on Earth. I've arranged for the N7 Defender armor to be delivered to the Normandy before supply lines get even less reliable. Look for the armor the next time you're sitting up for a mission. Hmm. Did not see it in my locker. N7 Defender? Did we not already have that? Doesn't make sense. It says N7 Warfare gear. That's what you're supposed to get. Maybe that includes the assault rifle that we got that wasn't listed, the other one. Alright, let's, let's, let's get out of here instead of wasting time to the galaxy map. We're going to explore. So we've completed Eden Prime. This is 100% utopia, so we've completely um, explored this place. No need to scan any further here. Could travel across to Askrad. Where are we? Exodus cluster, 20% assets recovered. Hmm. Let's travel across here. There must be some major assets here. There's only really two systems here, I think. Maybe not. Signal confirmed. Whoop. Signal. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's the Reapers coming in. Gotta be careful there. Pours a hydrogen helium gas jam with over 90 moons. Wow. Okay. Start scanner. Signal is to the east up here. No wait, that's the west. <laughs> Never eat shredded wheat. Yeah, that's it. That's how I remember. I'm that damn stupid. What have we got? Lost and found. Remains of Reaper Destroyer. Nice. So you pick up some nice uh, upgrades this way, I suppose. And you probably go to, what was her name? Liara's place uh, on the ship and she researches the notes and then you get upgrades from that, I guess. Um, leave orbit. Are the Reapers coming? Are they coming? Oh. Whoa! Shit! Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh shit! We nearly got caught. Oh, ho, ho, wow. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> I forgot it was like that. Right, so we've got Better not move too much. Can we go back in? We actually evaded them. Can we go back into the system? Is it safe? 
Is it safe? I'm running out of fuel. This is not good. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh sh shit. Right, fuck it. I'm going out of here. I'm gonna run out of fuel. Oh crap. Oh crap. 23 fuel. Are we gonna make this? Oh my god. Just about made it. Fuel depot, please. Why is there no fuel depot? That's horrible. There's reapers. I'm gonna have to go somewhere where there's fuel. Where, where am I gonna get fuel? Rescue Turian. Rescue Turian Primark. I want to just explore around the place first of all. But we have to get some petrol. Petrol. Some fuel. Back to the Anos Basin, I guess. <coughs> Without fuel, how could we do this? Possible. Emergency reserves, I guess. Where in God's name is the fuel depot here? Buy fuel. I hope you can upgrade your ship like you could in Mass Effect 2. Obviously the scanning system is much simplified from Mass Effect 2. I think we're done with this place, so let's go back to Exodus Cluster. Fully explore this place. Hopefully we don't get caught by the Reapers. Anymore. I was saying it's much simplified because you only have to scan the area and then you get a planet highlighted. Like in Mass Effect 2 you had to go to every single planet and scan the whole thing right over to get resources and sometimes side quests. And I scanned every single planet and every single solar system and I really enjoyed it actually. I was hoping they would have it in this game but I suppose it makes sense to simplify it in some respects. So we have to cross over to this Asgard again. Waste about half our fuel. Yep. It takes half fuel to get to here. Shit. For fuck's sake, leave me alone. What the hell? If I land on a planet, will I be able to get to it without being molested by these things? Right, go, 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 go. And through orbit. That was close. Start scanner. Up, up, up. To the east. There we go. What have we got here? Is that it? Lance Cruiser Shanghai. We have to escape with our lives. Somehow. Oh shit! Evasion successful. Oh my god. 57%. So we've only got 40% from that place. Guess we're gonna have to return to there. We'll actually go and do some quests then. We need some more stealth. I wonder if you can upgrade your evasion so you can actually scan without being detected more successfully. Cerberus Lab, where do you wanna go first? Rescue, rescue Turian Primark, Turian Primark. Hmm. What's this one? Cerberus Lab? We've been to the Citadel. Alright. Let's go rescue the Turian Primal. I think that's Garrus, isn't it? Garrus is on. It's the homeworld of those people. I can't remember what the, the name of the people is. Let's scan the area. Hope we don't get detected. Not finding anything here. Nope. Alright, let's land. Palverin's largest moon has been shrouded in secrecy since the dawn of the Turian Space Age. Let's see, I've only got two people, Liara and James, right, not much of a choice then, 
after you do this mission you can select him I'm almost certain so we'll go to Liara and James accept suit up and boot out L loadout is fine, we've got 3 points, level 8, nice what are we going to use it in? fitness? I don't use that much because I'm not in close quarters much although it could be useful later on when there's hordes of enemies coming towards me but I mean this game is a, there's a 